Hello YouTubers, Realtor Mike Thomas here um, talking to you about the housing market and what it's doing here in South Florida. Uh, please stay to the end of the video because I've got some great prediction about um, if there's going to be a housing crash this year or not. I know everybody's talking about it, but uh, I'm going to go over this chart with you and for my Miami-Dade County and hopefully things will be much clearer for you. So let's start off with January. Uh, January this year, um, well, let me first explain the, the graph to you. The blue bars are single family homes and the orange bars um, are townhouses and condominiums. And so we're gonna talk about each month um, and I'm gonna refer each month back to what happened uh, in that same month last year. So I'm going to start off with January. In January this year, 2021, uh, single family homes were up just over 9% over January of last year. And townhouses and condominiums were up a little over 28% over January of 2020. Um, in February, it rose. It went, single family homes were up over 23.5% um, and about a little over 43% for the townhouses and condominiums over last year. When we get into March, we have this jump. So now single family homes were up 40, almost 41% over last year, March, and 80% for the townhouses and condominiums in Miami. In April, we see an increase that's double what March was. June. So now we're up almost 81% for single family homes and 127% in townhouses and condominiums. Wow, what an increase. But it doesn't stop there because yeah. May is the biggest month. At with 85, over 85% 85 of single family homes that closed and over May last year. And 286.5% for townhouses and condominiums. That, folks, is amazing. What an increase over last year's May. In June, we seem to come down in single family homes, 41.5% about. And we're still at 212, almost 213% in townhouses and condominiums over last year, that. June. Still impressive. July, we're at 15% in single family homes and still and, almost 104% in townhouses and condominiums. Still very strong for condominiums. But look here. In August, Miami was down in single family homes 3.5% over August last year. Is that anything to be concerned about? And the answer is not really. Just because you have a bad Dad. month, a crash does not happen. And it's only for single family homes because if we look at August for townhomes, we're looking at 70% increase over August last year, which is still pretty impressive. So my prediction of the real estate market in Miami is things are becoming more stable now. Um, it can't go up two, three, four, five hundred percent every year. That would be, you know, crazy, or every single month. I think that the real estate market is stabilizing because real estate prices have increased and they've increased quite a bit. So my prediction is is there's not a real estate crash coming in 2021. I think we're going to see some stabilizing of the market here in South Florida, Miami area. I think that real estate is still a great safe investment and uh, no matter what the so-called experts are saying about it, I think that the Miami market is still strong and still good uh, for 2021. Uh, please stay tuned for other videos that we have on Martin County, Palm Beach County, Broward County, and Port St. Lucie County. So stay tuned to watch those. Please subscribe. Click the like button and leave a comment.